Anemophia wind pollination is a form of pollination whereby pollen is distributed by wind. Almost all gymnosperms are anemophilous, as are many plants in the order Poels, including grasses, sedges and rushes. Other common anemophilous plants are oaks, sweet chestnuts, alders and members of the family Juglandaceae. Syndrome Features of the wind pollination syndrome include a lack of scent production a lack of showy floral parts, reduced production of nectar, and the production of enormous numbers of pollen grains. This distinguishes them from entomophilus and zoophilus species. Anemophilus pollen grains are light and non-sticky, so that they can be transported by air currents. They are typically 20 to 60 micrometers in diameter, although the pollen grains of pinus species can be much larger and much less dense. Anemophilus plants possess well-exposed stamens so that the pollens are exposed to wind currents and also have have large and feathery stigma to easily trap airborne pollen grains. Pollen from anemophilus plants tends to be smaller and lighter than pollen from entomophilus ones, with very low nutritional value to insects. However, insects sometimes gather pollen from staminate anemophilus flowers at times when higher protein pollens from entomophilus flowers are scarce. Anemophilus pollens may also be inadvertently captured by bees' electrostatic field. This may explain why, though bees are not observed to visit ragweed flowers, its pollen is often found in honey made during the ragweed floral bloom. Other flowers that are generally anemophilous are observed to be actively worked by bees, with solitary bees often visiting grass flowers, and the larger honeybees and bumblebees frequently gathering pollen from corn tassels and other grains. Anemophily is an adaptation that that helps to separate the male and female reproductive systems of a single plant, reducing the effects of inbreeding. It often accompanies diaceae, the presence of male and female reproductive structures on separate plants. Allergies Almost all pollens that are allergens are from anemophilus species. Grasses are the most important producers of aeroallergens in most temperate regions, with lowland or meadow species producing more pollen than upland or moorland species. 